Leaky building syndrome is um, when the envelope of the building, the roof and the walls, um, aren't constructed or detailed like they should in respect to um, weather times. And therefore, um, things like mould start to grow, um, ingress of water, which um, can cause major issues for the building itself. Okay, the verification method is one of four assessment methods under the National Construction Code. We've chosen the verification method to improve the, um, the weather tightness of our wall systems here at CSIRO. Uh, in this weather tightness facility where testing was undertaken, the facility itself uh, essentially sprays water at a wall under pressure and then tests uh, the um, results are logged out from there. Okay, the other assessment method that can be used is evidence of the material meets the performance requirements, comparison to a dense satisfy solution, which in traditional systems in the VCA, and expert judgment, which is assessment by a professional expert in the field of weather time or buildings. The frame behind us, um, a wall system was or is constructed. Um, in our case, it was a two-storey construction that was done, which incorporated uh, external control joints, windows, uh, other junctions that may be critical to weather timers. Um, the test procedure itself went through a, uh, a first stage which was um, the initial loading which basically puts the wall specimen under a stress to see if any uh, sort of cracks open or anything like that. Um, then we go into the static load test which is um, a constant spray of water under pressure and then a cyclic load test which is basically the spray of water cyclically acting on the wall so putting water on and off at a different pressure. The verification methods won't absolve specifiers or builders from their responsibilities in ensuring a weather type building, but what they will do is give them the assurance that they can reduce their risk by constructing a wall system that has been verified, has been tested and is weather type.